Hey folks, Steve Johnson here with the Not So Straight and Level podcast and with the SJ Knows Everything Facebook page. I don't know everything, but I might know a little bit about this. So today we're going to talk about using the Live Track L8 uh, by Zoom as an audio interface. A lot of people have asked about using this as an audio interface. Zoom's documentation on the subject is a little bit lacking. Today we're going to do a, uh, a connect it up to Adobe Audition and show you how that works. If you like that um, and you want to see how you can use it with some other software, some other gadgets, that sort of thing, uh, hit some likes or some subscribes and maybe I will make some more videos on the process. So, but let's jump right into it. We're not going to go through a complicated unboxing and opening little boxes and all that sort of thing. We're just going to get down to the meat of the situation. So here we go. The first thing that you've got to do is don't hook the device up to your computer just yet. Today we're using a Windows 10 computer and we're going to hook uh, the Live Track 8 right up to that, but we got to get the right driver from Zoom. So we go to the Zoom NA North America website, we go to downloads here on the Live Track 8 page, and we're going to download the L8 driver for Windows 7, 8, and 1 and 10. So or Windows 7, 8.1, and 10. So everybody knows how to download a driver and how to install it. So we're not going to go through that. All right. But that's what you got to do. You got to get that driver. After you get that driver and open the zip file, you'll see this little Zoom L8 EXE file. You're going to take that, double click it. It's going to install the driver. I've already done that. So I don't have to do it again. Now, you can see my board laid out here. Um, I hope it comes through pretty good. I'm just using my webcam to capture this part of it. I've got a, a Shure SM58 microphone connected up to input one, and you will see that when I talk in here, I've got the gain set, and this is jumping up and down. Okay, so uh, just a little jump here that I'm gonna stick in the middle of this because I forgot to mention it. Now, when I got my Live Track 8 out of the box, uh, it was set up to run the audio interface on a PC or Mac, but I'm gonna show you how to do that just in case you need to do some troubleshooting. So the first thing you do, if you go down here, you will see um, we're on recorder mode right now. I'm gonna to switch to mixer mode. And when I do that, you'll see this light that says audio interface. When you click that, that changes this screen to say audio interface. Now I'm going to do one later on uh, iOS, but uh, with the GarageBand or something, but right now we're going to use PC Mac. So I just push on this little button, boom. And I say, are you sure? Yes. Click again. Now th that pops us back to mixer mode or to uh, yeah mixer mode. But the thing is, it's not very satisfying because it doesn't like other Zoom products. When you go into auto audio interface, it's a dedicated interface. In this case, it's just a pass through interface because you can use the Zoom L8 um, for uh, normal recording and everything else and pass the audio interface through at the same time. So uh, you could essentially record on two devices at once if you wanted to. So that's the skinny on that. We're going to want to get Adobe Audition configured in order to take the input, and that is where the documentation is weak, and that's where you want to pay attention. So I'm going to go ahead and pop up Adobe Audition right now. Here we go. The first thing I need to do once I'm in Audition, I'm going to start a new multi-track session because I think that's really cool. Um, and I'm going to tell it I want to use a 24-track music session, I'm going to call it, and I'm going to just call this the L8 Demo. All right, so now I've got a 24 track, uh, multi-track session set up. Now I gotta work on my inputs and outputs. So the first thing I've gotta do is I've gotta go into preferences. On, in Windows, it's edit preferences. And I'm gonna go to audio hardware. Now, you'll notice that the device class up here I've chosen is ASIO or ASIO or however you wanna pronounce it, okay? So ASIO right there, you need the Zoom ASIO driver. Okay, just like that. The rest of this stuff, I'm not going to mess around with. You might be smarter than I am and be able to mess with that. Uh, if you hit settings, it pops up a little window that looks like this, which allows you to change the buffer size and some other exciting stuff that I'm not going to mess with today. So there we go. And that's all we got to do. We can set that up. We have audio channel mapping over here. We're not going to mess with that right now. It shows you all the inputs and stuff. I'm just going to pop over here directly to our multi-track session. I'm going to go right here to my first track one. I'm going to choose the input device. That's what that means right there, input. I'm going to click on this. I'm going to use mono and I'm going to go down to input one, which is my number one input on the um, uh, live track L8. Okay. So now 
with any luck at all, if I hit the record arming button here, you will start seeing the output from my talking transferring from the L8 onto uh, Adobe Audition on channel one. Okay, so that's really cool. So guess how we would set up channel two? Imagine that. We would go right down to this little thing right here and say mono input two, right? So now we've got one and two. I don't have anything in two, but if I did, you would be seeing that jump around there if I had it armed for record. Okay, just to show you uh, how that's going to work, I'm going to hit the record button. I'm going to pick this up and say, hey, everybody, this is Steve talking through the live track eight and recording on the amazing Adobe Audition software. Hmm. Okay, so that's all there is to it right there. Makes sense, right? Now, for you naysayers, I'm just going to go ahead and move this over to number two. Set the gain about the same. Bring this up over here. I'm going to hit record over here. Oh, look at that. Now I'm recording on number two, and I can record that at the same time, right in that same spot. I'm going to hit record and say, okay, naysayers, check it out. All right. So there's that. Notice I have punch in or something, so I've got record set up here, so it recorded over the top of that. I don't care. I just wanted to show the how that was going to work. Now, I'm going to unarm these two for record, so we got them, those out there. Let's say, uh, if you know anything about the Live Track 8, it's got these two really super cool other uh, things here in the middle. These are multi-function inputs, all right? You can have a standard input if you push this thing like this, okay? Now we've just got standard line inputs. You can plug your guitar or your banjo or whatever you want to in here and just use this as another input. It's not an XLR, just a standard input just like the centers of these are, okay? That's all fine, well, and good, but we got a lot of other inputs already. We don't need. All right, so if I hit this button again, now USB lights up, okay? What that is, is that means that whatever, this is now an input that comes from the USB connection of the computer. So I can take what's coming out of Audition and run it back into this uh, device right here, okay? And I'm just gonna show you that that works. I'm gonna back up and hit play and you'll see I'm hitting play, and here is the output coming from Adobe Audition into uh, right into the L8, right on this USB 1.2. Obviously, if I did 3.4, I could do the I could do the same thing. Okay, so that, that that's just kind of a nifty thing, good to know, something you can do if you want to recirculate that. Now, of course, there's always an opportunity to get some kind of feedback loop if you're not careful. I haven't had that problem, but but I'm sure you could do it if you tried hard enough. So. That would be our USB input on that one. That's kind of cool. We know one of the cool things about the Live Track 8 is the telephone interface. That's this little uh, TTRS connection right here. And you could plug your telephone in, use this as an audio interface, record on Audition instead of on the Live Track 8, and capture the uh, phone input. And then, of course, the other snazzy thing that this has is this little sound generator pad where it makes these nifty little sounds when you hit the buttons. And you can change the sounds. It does intro music, that sort of thing. You can pass all of that onto Adobe Audition as well, too. I'll just show you that real quick in case you're a non-believer. So I'm going to go to mono. I'm going to use, this is channel 8. So I'm going to go down here to input 8. If I can get down there. I got something in my way. Hang on just a second. Let's go down there again. Mono input 8. Now when I arm for record, if I hit one of these buttons, you will see it dances up there. And if I hit the record, it's going to play one of these little magic button things when I hit it, okay, which is like claps or something like that, whatever I've got programmed in there. So that is all there is to using this uh, device as an audio interface. Pretty simple. Um, if you have any questions, if I haven't covered something appropriately for you, leave some notes in the comments of the video, and I will certainly answer your questions as best that I can. I hope this has been helpful. See you next time.